Good evening, everyone. Rochesterians are proving once again how generous they are. This after the shooting and fire in West Webster. Immediately after the tragedy, you opened your wallets and donated money in honor of the fallen firefighters. There were dozens of fundraisers and boot drives, nickels, dimes, whatever people had, they donated. But where did that money go? All right, Tina Shively talked with the president of West Webster Fire Association to find out. Tina? Well, Kevin and Maureen, here in Rochester, charity is just part of everyday life. We proved that several times just in the last few years. But this time it was different. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were raised to help West Webster bounce back from tremendous tragedy. Neighbors began showing support just hours after two West Webster firefighters were killed on Christmas Eve 2012. Memorials grew at the Gravel Road Firehouse to show support for the families of the fallen and the brothers they left behind. It continues nearly two months later. Firefighter Philip, I appreciate and admire all of the hard and scary work you do to keep Webster safe. You These personalized safe valentines from area students are a touching welcome. tribute, so says Fire Association President Ken Smith. They're a small part of a larger show of support that includes a significant sum of money. Almost two months have passed since the tragedy. How much money are we talking about at this point? Um, to date, we've raised over $500,000. Smith estimates more than 60 fundraisers have been held in our community, at area bars and even hair salons, by fellow firefighters and everyday people just having lunch. Smith says the checks written to the families of the fallen and injured go directly to them. Everything else now sits in a bank account, set up the day after Christmas. The part that's most impressive to the men and women who call this fire station home is that every single fundraiser was initiated by local businesses. West Webster firefighters never asked the public for a single dime. Smith says the only request for money the department ever made was in late December. Fire officials reached out to departments statewide asking if they could hold a boot drive to help the families of Lieutenant Mike Ciparini and Tomas Kachufka. After that, the community truly took over. And it, it keeps coming. You know, the, the first few days we expected it, but it just kept coming and coming. And we still get emails, I, I don't know how many we get, probably, probably 10 a week with different fundraisers going on and they're looking for our support. The department gets four or five checks a week, some for fundraisers they weren't even aware of. Smith says they will always be grateful. Didn't realize how much the community cared about us and, and, and wanted to help us. It's just phenomenal. We can't thank people enough. $500,000 is a lot of money. Smith says the department has formed a committee that will soon sit down and properly divide up those funds. As well they should. Have they decided how they're going to earmark any of that money? Well, the majority of the money was already set aside for families of the fallen and the injured. The people who donated earmarked them as such. Yes. Uh, the rest is money donated to the West Webster Fire Department. That will be set aside for a permanent memorial and a scholarship fund. Yeah. Nice to see that these uh, yeah. fundraisers yeah. keep coming. Absolutely. What generosity. Well, yeah. okay. Thanks, Tina.